All right, everyone, as you can see, we're making candles today. Uh, I got my uh, candle pot ready. Got my uh, molds ready. Uh, the ice tray is also going to be a mold. Um, I'll show you how to make some votive candles and some tea candles. I do my tea candles in an ice tray. All right. So. I'll let you get a look at it. What you're going to need is obviously some wax. Alright, I'm going to come around here now. In this pot, I have a half a thing of paraffin wax. Okay, it's already melted to speed up the time and everything. I went ahead and melted half a pot of paraffin wax. Now, to that, I'm going to add half a pot of soy wax. Now, I want you to see this. This is soy wax. I don't know. Let's see if you can see it. Okay. I'll show you. 100% soy wax. Okay. I'm going to add half. of soy wax. I keep my soy wax in the freezer because it is so soft. It melts real easy. And we're in my workshop right now, so I'm going to add that till it's full. That's how I know it's half. Alright. Paraffin wax lasts a long time, but soy wax burns a little more even, so we're going to mix it. Paraffin wax has a tendency to burn down one side. Alright. Right now we're just going to make white candles. Uh, the next video I'll show you how to make sanded candles and color candles. So if you want to see that next. Alright, there we go. It's about half. And uh, I'm going to pause the video. When we come back, our soy wax is going to be fully melted. And uh, I'll show you how we get started. Alright, I'll be right back. All right, so we're back. Our wax is fully melted. I, I realized a moment ago that uh, the lighting was really bad, so I, I adjusted it some, added a little more lighting, so I hope it's a little easier to see what I'm doing. I'm also gonna move the camera a little bit closer here. You can see what I'm doing, all right? All right, uh, I'm gonna show you what I got to work with here. Um, First, I just use a slow cooker, a crock pot, a small one, for my uh, candle making. I always put it on low temperature, alright? Um, it's one of those that you can remove so I can clean it. Uh, cleaning it, I'll do that in another video. First, first of all, this I am the Georgia Craftsman. Um, and... Uh, I'll be doing craft videos. Um, this is my first do candle making, book binding, wine making, and uh, so forth, so on. All right. Basically, what you need to make do candles is basically some good wax, wicks, of course. These were popsicle sticks. I, I cut it. I'll show you what they're for in just a moment. Uh, you need molds, 
what these are. These are for voltage candle molds. Now you can get tea candle molds, but I make large tea candles, which I do in this ice tray. I do do I do uh do a few of the uh, regular tea candles as well. I also use a ladle. It's also handy to know to keep cardboard down over your tables and stuff when you do it because you're gonna spill some. This is a stirrer I use to stir up my wax right here. Made out of popsicle sticks. Okay. Nothing fancy or anything. A box knife and a pair of scissors. That's for cutting the wicks after they're hardened. Okay. Now that um, my wax is melted, 50% soy and 50% paraffin. I'm going to take my stirrer, mix it up good. Pretty much mixes it as it goes, but I like stirring it just a little bit. Alright. I always keep a cardboard box to keep this in because it will make a mess. Alright, now we're going to prepare our molds. We're going to start with the bolted. So, to start with, I'm going to move this so I have more room. I'm going to do the bolted candles first. Alright. Spread these apart just a little bit. Now, I'm too close together. Easier to work. There we go. Now, we need a wick. It's 10 here. I'm going to make 10 of these. I'm going to show you how to save a little bit when you make your tea candles in just a moment. See how large these wicks are? Okay. We're also going to use these same wicks to make our tea candles, or what's left of them. And what I do, first I put wick in each one, like this. Alright. I always keep my wicks in a little baggie, keeps them from getting dirty and keeps them together. Alright, now, with your wicks, you want them a little long to start with. So, I'll show you what to do here. I'm going to cut them about two inches above the mold. Right? Right. Lay that to the side. We'll save that for the tea candles here. Put that one just a little short, but I think it'll work. You have to trim these again, but always leave a little extra. I'll show you why. Because when it comes to holding these wigs, the portal wax, you want a little extra room. Alright, that's where the popsicle sticks come in handy. Also, another good use for that stir, I'm going to show you. And if you ever get wax on something, a little hot water and vinegar usually gets it right out. That's including clothing, so forth. Uh, Alright, and that's the last one. Alright, now, what I like to do, I'm going to take my lid off, see it right here. Oops, be careful of that. take my wicks here I'm going to dip it down the ends of it into the wax just a little and I'm going to stick it right there do them all that way yes. 
try to get it as centered as possible. I don't have to be exact, but close to the center as you can get it. You can straighten them so they stick pretty good. But that's not going to stay true. So just, so just do the very ends of them until you get it stuck to the bottom of the thing. It helps to hold them in place. Alright. Because I cut it too short. But it can still work. They can be a little uh, aggravating sometimes. It, you see how they're falling? See that? Put the uh, stick on the angle that it's trying to fall to. And Those are a little longer. I'm gonna get to those. All right. Probably gonna fast forward a little bit for you guys. So sometimes I. Go back and do the bin later after I do this. It's sort of like a production line. As you can tell from my name, I'm from Georgia, from my accent. I was uh, born and raised in Georgia. And uh, I am a disabled veteran, U.S. Army. And uh, find myself doing a lot of crafts. I do work volunteer sometimes as I can, but I have some definite battle scars, which we'll talk about in another another uh, video. Let's see. Sometimes you can get by with one, but when you pour the wax, that wick's going to get loose. That's why I always put two. It's going to not going to stay this stiff, and it's going to fall over. And sometimes if you just have one, it'll actually drop down into the wax. That's why I always use two. Trial and error. This one, hope this one's long enough. It is. It is. Thank goodness. I was a little worried about that one. Some of that resistance to slack off some though. So but it's easier to do this while they're stiff because well, it's because you kind of see that when I go to pour the wax. When you go to pour the wax, you to be very careful. It's not really hot enough to burn you, seriously, but it'll hurt. It's hang. Right. Always melt your wax on a low heat though, because you can get it too hot, and wax is flammable and can combust. So always use low heat. Okay. 
just a safety warning. I have some music in the background for you guys, but for me it's kind of boring. I'll add that afterwards. This is my first craft video. I have others um, from my last channel that I brought over. Anyway, um, didn't do very well on that channel. Hope I do better on this one. I really didn't put the time in required to really make anything of it. I plan on doing a little more so this time. All right, we got these ready, as you can see, pretty much. Now, you want to try to keep, so that's the problem. I'll show you how to fix that after you pour. Okay? See how stiff it is? That won't be stiff very long. So now, put this somewhere where it won't fall and break. Alright. <coughs> now we're ready to pour. Time of truth. Alright. Let's start out by pouring just a Tad bit into each one real slowly. About just enough to cover the bottom of the wig. Right, you don't want to ah, make it a mess. That's what I was talking about the cardboard. I just throw the cardboard out, no harm done. I always spill some. Always do. There are better techniques than this, and people get real expensive with this. You know, I try to keep it cheap as long as I can. Try to show you how to have make good crafts, fairly reasonable. See where I get my wax. Get a good deal on wax. A lot of times you can find good deals on walmart.com. Sometimes you can actually get wax through private companies, but sometimes I've actually found it at the uh, flea market. And now I also use wax and canning, but you, you usually use paraffin wax for that because. It's a little, it's a little harder. Okay, and we're gonna let that set a little bit until it just starts to turn cloudy on the bottom, and it's gonna hold it just a little bit. Sometimes you just let it. Don't take long. It it begins to harden pretty quick. You see, that's already look. It's already getting thick. And I've spilled. Another thing, once you get these poured, you want to pretty much leave them alone until they get cool. So, there's going to be a pause here between each candle type. I fill it pretty much to the top. Don't go all the way up to the sticks because if you do, if you do, it'll stick to the sticks, and you'll have a hard time getting your candles loose. So we don't want to do that. Okay. Go all the way up. I learned that the hard way. I first started doing it, and uh, found out that it's not good. You want full candles, but. If you want them pretty, you won't go all the way to the top because it will mess them up. I am all about trying to save a little money. I don't have a lot of money, so I have to save a lot of money. Uh, 
if I can do it cheaper, I will. But not so much. Quality suffers. Quality is important too. My mom always told me, can't do something right, don't do it at all. So, gotta do this right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour these candles, pause the video, and uh, come back when they're ready to come out. For you to just be a few minutes, for me it'll be about two hours. So, you know, maybe a little longer. They're cool when they're cool. Oh, I'm going to tell you, some people may get tempted to put these in the freezer. Now, if you're using paraffin wax alone, you can probably get away with that. But with soy wax, you don't want to do that because there was a tendency when you cool too fast to sink in the middle. It moved a little bit. That's okay. It didn't move too far. I can show you how to fix that. Kind of glad it did. That's easy as it all took. Sometimes it's easy. Sometimes it can be disastrous. All right. Now, I'm going to give you a little trick when I go to pull these out. Sometimes they want to stick inside the molds. If they do, which I put silicone on these before I started the video. I spray it down with silicone and it helps keep them from sticking. But if they do, I'll show you what to do to get them out. Alright. Alright, they're all ready. ready. And uh, I'm going to pause the video and uh, come back when you're good and hard and uh, let you see the end results all right all right we're back candles are hard as you can see they're fully chilled and if you see like I predicted they're stuck so what you do Take you some hot water. Pour it in slow. Try not to get the candles wet. Okay. Give them a second or two. It won't take a long. There we go. There you go. <laughs> okay. And they are just come right out. Right out of there, see? There you go. They are made. Now I'll set these to the side. I got my water a little too hot. They melted them a little bit too much, but that's the basic principle. There you are, some bolts of candles. Right there. And uh, hope you'll join me next time when I do the tea candles. Uh, I was going to do it in this video, but I don't have enough time. I just realized how long I went with the second part. But I hope you've enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and share my video um, if you don't mind. And uh, join me back next time. We'll be doing uh, tea candles, and I'll try to throw in some color in those. All right? All right. Well, you be good. I want to also give a shout out to Pawpaw at Doing It Cheap. 
I'm going to put the link to his channel down below. Um, he and I've got that in common. We both like doing things cheap. I watch his videos a lot. I like his uh, ideas on wine making. So, if you don't mind, go by there and give him a little bit of love. Alright, that's it. See you next time.